Well, if you see the smoke coming from the CQ Arena at Towson University, it's because the men's basketball team is on fire. Yeah, the Tigers are among the hottest college hoops teams in Baltimore. WMAR 2 News' Sean Stepner caught up with them today. Never has a Towson Tigers team come out of the gates like this. It's unbelievable. Um, we got a great group of guys here. Um, we're really glad that we're having a good start to the season. Clearly our skill level is across the board higher than it's been. For the first time in its Division I history, Towson is off to a 13-5 and start. The intent of these guys is the, is, is the best we've had as far as they, they, they want to be good. They want to please each other. Um, there's a level of accountability. Cam Holden leads the team with 14 and a half points per game. He's played the last month with a fractured jaw. My teammates like give me the ball in the spot that I need it. You know, they believe in me more than anything. Pat Scary's team is riding a four game win streak. They are four and one in the Colonial Athletic Association. Those four wins most in the conference. A big part of their success this season has been because of their long distance accuracy. The Tigers are averaging 8.2 three-pointers per game. Twice this season, they've hit a program record 16 threes in a game. Severna Park's Jason Gibson knocking down a school record eight in each of them. Luckily, my, my teammates and coaches give me a lot of confidence. You know, they tell me they want me to shoot the ball. So, you know, that's what I try and do. And sometimes I don't even realize how many threes I'm shooting. The Tigers look to make it rain from deep once again on Thursday night when Charleston comes to CQ Arena. The chef knows it's just the next step in the recipe for a dish that's far from ready to plate. This seems to be right now we've got good ingredients in the sauce and we got to keep stirring it and keeping it warm. There's a lot of basketball left to be played. In Towson, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.